hi guys and dolls welcome back um to my youtube channel the janae Wall show in this video i'm gonna be talking about um tears of joy um so okay going back so um before i actually had a dream that i'm about to share god just kept sharing with me like tears of joy tears of joy mourning into dancing tears of joy tears of joy um, and around this time, I was a little sad, probably was crying a little bit, but God said, he kept just saying tears of joy, tears of joy. Um, so I had a dream. Um, in the dream, I was at this place. It kind of looked like, um, for those that are familiar with Rita's, they have like custard and Italian ice, and it's like really good. It was like a Rita's, but it was like a lot bigger. And they had like so many flavors I didn't even know like I was trying them all and they were all so good and I didn't know like which one to pick and I was like anyone that knows me knows that Rita's is a place of of happiness for me I mean it's I'm not surprised their slogan I think is ice custard happiness and a lot of my friends would use Rita's to like motivate me if I was down or I want to stay in bed, they'd be like, all right, Janae, let's go to Rita's because they knew, like, me going to Rita's, it was going to bring me, it was going to cheer me up. So I'm not surprised that God used that symbol in the dream. So I get my Rita's. I'm so happy. Then I see, in the dream, I see Universal Studios in the background, which for most people um, who know me know that I've been wanting to go to Universal Studios for, like, the longest time. And I have so much fun there, and it literally brings me so much joy. Okay, so um, that was in the background. And um, then leading up to that, or after that, should I say, um, I was walking into like a building, and it was um, a proposal going on. I was in that. So I'm like, okay, God, what you trying to say? So. I was being proposed to and um, when I tell you it was like I was crying the ugly cry not even the cute cry like I was crying and it was like all the tears that I've cried of past failed relationships all the tears that I've cried about you know is it even possible Lord that I could have a healthy relationship a healthy marriage that one day someone would choose me to be their wife like all of these things and the things that I've experienced in the past and with my own family and some of the things and just with that and it was like it was like like someone had opened the floodgates it was like just tears and tears and tears but they weren't sad tears they were joyful tears they were happy tears and they were bursting out of my eyes literally bursting like every tear that God had collected that he had bottled was like bursting out of my eyes and I was like oh lord I hope you know when this person whoever he is when he does propose I was like I pray to god I don't look like that but I could see how it was all working together how the symbols in the dream and all of that and God just was telling me beforehand tears of joy tears of joy so when I asked him after and I said, God, what was that about? And he was saying, tears of joy, tears of joy, even in the situation of your relationships, even in the situation of that promise that I have given you, that there will be tears of joy. And for some of you that are watching, there's a scripture that says um, that he will turn our mourning into dancing. And um, what we've sown in tears, we will reap in joy in songs of shout another translation says and there's a song um what you've sown in tears you shall reap in joy turning your morning into dancing what you've sown in tears you shall reap in joy turning your morning into dancing what you've sown in tears you shall reap in joy turning your morning into dancing so I want to come on and I want to encourage you because for some of you, you're mourning right now. Get up and dance. Hallelujah. Get up and dance. Um, and for some of you, you have been crying a lot of tears of sadness, of loneliness, of God, have you forgotten me? Am I overlooked? So 
some of you you might be feeling like you've gone through so so much heartache and heartbreak and disappointment that you're like even wondering like god could it even be possible that there's a man or a woman for some of you for a woman out there that will understand me that will get me that will bring me more joy than pain for some of you you're going through that right now for some of you someone might have even left you and you're saying why god why did that person leave me for that other person and you don't understand but god is saying he's restoring hallelujah he's restoring your joy back and all the tears that you have cried he has collected he has not forgotten about even he has not forgotten about the very tears that you cry he has bottled them he has stored them away in heaven um and he's just such a good good heavenly father that he cares about the things that that break our heart and the things that bother us god is such a kind and patient and merciful god um so for some of you stay encouraged you're going through that and you're thinking god i've been crying and i've been crying and i'm really tired of crying about this situation or i'm really tired of crying and feeling sad for some of you feeling alone feeling like there's people that have walked away from you you don't understand god is restoring your joy back he's giving you tears of joy in the dream when i tell you my eyes were like it was like tears were bursting out of my eyes so many tears you, you know the emoji that's like this like that that was like me in the dream times like 50 it was just coming and coming i was like oh god i, I really hope when he proposes i really hope i don't look like that because that was that was an ugly cry okay y'all that was an ugly cry but for some of you it's gonna be that beautiful for some of you it's gonna be that grand it's gonna be that marvelous how god is literally working all things romans eight twenty eight says um, that all things work together for those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Um, so just stay encouraged. Um, just stay encouraged. Um, like for me, there's been things that I've been going through, some things even that I've been crying about, but I know that God is restoring my joy, and I know that he's going to give me for every tear that I've sown in loneliness, every tear that I've sown in sadness, and heartbreak and disappointment and people failing me and people walking away from me and people not being good to me I know that God is going to give me so much back in joy for all of that he's going to give me a recompense for all of that and restoration for all of that all right I love you all and please stay encouraged um God is just that good and he is he is our joy you know um what's the scripture uh, I'm getting a, a blank right now. The joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. In Jesus' name. And walk with that and carry that. No matter who has left you. No matter who has walked away from you. No matter even sometimes the hard situations that we have to go through. Sometimes or the hard decisions that we have to make. And even letting other people go. And that can be painful too. God is restoring your joy back. Okay, so get ready. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys and dolls.